Hey guys, welcome back to Almost Inevitable Design. My name is still PK and I make WordPress tutorials for designers and developers. Uh, we're going to keep going on with our WooCommerce shop that we're building in Breakdance. If you need Breakdance, uh, visit the affiliate link below and it'll help out the channel. Cool. So, um, just to explain a little bit of stuff that I was trying to do. This is what you can do if you need 16 as the base so oh it's 18 all right so base body font 18 and oh 90 90 as the uh, h1 and trying to get a ratio that will work close enough all right now i set it up wrong that's, just, that's 80 that should be 90 and we're going to go with 18 so I'm going to divide it by x to the power to the sixth power, uh, put it under uh, 90, so end up being 18, and we'll calculate that. Wolfram Alpha is really cool. This is what we get. We don't need the imaginary number solutions. All we need is the real solutions. Approximate form. We need that approximate form. So that one becomes 1.3077. So 1.31 or 1.3 as the ratio and set the base font base size base paragraph size as 18 and that's what you get if you want to get to 90 all right so just some calculations there <laughs> cool all right now we're going to set up the header and the footer start cool uh one thing that we're not going to do in the header is set every little um, page and menu item up. We'll just leave a placeholder menu there, I guess, if anything, and um, the mini cart. All right, that's the main focus of this header at the moment. And uh, just the logo there. The footer doesn't have anything else because it's just the, the links and the address. So nothing else there. We're just going to add some text columns and we'll swap that out for menus later on. Okay, cool. Um, let's get started with the header then. All right. We have these guys up there. Uh, we're going to go to headers. We're going to make a global header because it doesn't really matter. Global header, apply header everywhere. Priority 11. <laughs> That's not me. It's just, it's just, yeah. Um, so there we go. And let's edit in breakdance. Got your modules here. Got your structure here. Oh, I forgot. I need to add. A white color yeah because we don't have that um, background will be light gray for the whole website and the palette oh we have white yeah okay cool all right let me just see if I can get that thing to work see if I, no no not there let's try something like up, up down here Oh, you can't see that well. I'll just move it here. Okay. So if I do that, yeah, see like that's that's regular stacked, right? But if I change it, it should be side by side is that which I'm which which is okay. It's better than just regular stacked for me uh, cuz it's easier to see where I'm going and where I'm from, but I thought that would work. Yeah, there we go. And then yeah, okay. Then it stacks. It goes out once and then it stacks. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, it didn't work last time. Anyways, that's all good. Now we're going to start building so we don't need the whole uh, right-hand column there because we're going to look at the structure. Okay. All right. So good thing is that we have stuff like header builder, which helps us, right? Yep. Background will be same color as a text which is black and let's add a logo an 
image. There we go. Nice. Nice image. All right, what do we got? That one. Cool. Now, that is double the size. The actual size that I've intended here is, as you can see, it's 57. The text is grayed out because it is actually just text. It's not an image. So you, you can actually change it like that. All right. So that's why it's, yeah, that's why we don't have that. But let's say if I change that to that text, then you can see it becomes, yeah, 76. So 76 is, let's just go for 80. Four rem is fine. Um, so we're, we need the, the max width. Now, let's find the max width. Um, here on the bottom, there's a search, right? So we can just type in max and it'll show us max width. Now, if you wanna go in a little deeper, click on this little um, gear cog here and you can actually get everything that is in the panels, but hidden a little tighter away, tighter, a little deeper away from from easy use because some settings are more commonly used than others in this case. So that's why you get that, all right? So um, I would prefer to have this just on all the time, but um, a lot of people don't, which is why it is probably off. But I, if there's a setting, that would be great. If I can find it, if there's, it might be, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so the wrapper <clears throat> and on hover, they're not gonna change. So just the max width on regular is all we need. So that'll be four rem and that's it, done. Cool, let's add some more stuff. Let's add a mini cart. Oh, we don't have WooCommerce yet. So stupid, it's my fault. <laughs> I, need to, I, need to, I need to install WooCommerce. Oh my God, I am not on myself. Um, it is not late at night. You can see behind me, it's actually daytime. I normally work at night. Maybe that's why I'm not all here, but I'm not uploading a plugin. I'm adding WooCommerce. I'm going to do a jump cut after I install WooCommerce. Jump cut. I resumed the, the timer and here we are. So it's all set up. Nothing is added yet. I'll add some products later on, uh, but WooCommerce is here. So let's get back into adding, uh, working on the header. So we're looking for a mini cart. So we'll add that, oops, we'll add that. All right, so here you can search for elements, mini cart. There we go, cool. find an icon cart yep open cart no cart plus look oh luggage cart uh, there's a shopping cart and there's a cart I don't know how they're different but um, that cart looks closer to shopping cart not that it's important because this is just yeah but anyways let's do shopping cart Ta -da. cool can't still see it because it is um it is black Let's use white. There we go. Done. All right. And let's make it small enough that nobody will think. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, oh. No, we can't change the pixel. So 18. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, what do we got? Quantity. I hope that's the number here, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, so the background should be white. There we go, which is great. And the text should be, yeah, okay. Is there more that we can add? Yeah, we can, no, we don't need to worry about that. Oh, wait, nope, nope. Yep, that's fine. Uh, what was I gonna do? Font size, there we go. Let's make it one rem, nope, 0.8, 0.9. Ooh, 
0.8. Yep, 0.8 looks good. Uh, let's make it bold. Cool. Maybe 7. 0.7. Cool. I think that looks fine. Yep. All right. Cool. That's good. Um, is there? There's more text here, isn't there? What is that supposed to say? Oh, subtotal. Is that what that is? Maybe. All right. Yeah. So let's make that white. Subtotal. All right. Cool. 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 Um, font size. Let's go with uh, 0 0.8 rem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look good. Cool. All right. Let's add a menu. Uh, you can add a menu directly from the menu that you can build here. Or. Yep, or you can add like stuff like, um, what is it? Uh, mega menus and stuff. So we'll just add that here. Okay. Uh, text should be the links. No, 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 no. Oh, that whole thing. All right. Well, uh, menu, all the links typography all the text should be white yep um, as as we've chosen here we're gonna use 16 oh you can't see that um, 16 bold all right so small and bold in all caps all right so white is fine um, font size Let's use 0.8 rem, so 0 0.8 rem, weight, bold, 700, and font family should be as it is. We're gonna make it all caps like that. Cool. All right, we don't need all of that. You can have drop downs and you can get mega menus, which is really cool. A lot of people really like that. Um, and especially if you're, if you're running a shop Sometimes it has categories with extra photos and like multiple columns and mega menus. So that is a great new thing to use there, but we don't need all of that at the moment. Um, there's a lot of stuff here you can do. So that, I think that's really cool, uh, but we're not gonna worry too much about that. We're gonna, just gonna get rid of most of them because um, they'll just be pages, all right? Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Last one, I'll leave that as is. Uh, you know what? It's like a new link, and that will go down here. Cool. Now, one thing that this I think is good, but will need what is not is something that you need to think about, especially if you are uh, if you let the client manage this. The menus here is I think easier because it's just on the back end and you don't actually go into the builder. Uh, if you want a fancy menu, you can use that. Normally, for just this type of menu, I would have used a WordPress menu, okay? Um, I'll show you. I would have, so many, <laughs> I, would have, I would have used a WordPress menu, okay? And we don't have one, so it has no content, but that's what I would have used, okay? Anyways, we won't worry about that now. We'll just leave that as is, we'll save that. Now, as you can see, that is centered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this over by using, uh, what is it? Auto, margin auto, okay? Um, let's see, what was over here? Right, so if you go here, you have to go inside wrapper to be able to do things like spacing in here. But remember how I said like this, this, if you go spacing, all it has is margin top and bottom. So normally people would be like, where is it? It's all in, hidden inside the wrapper, but, but margin and then you click on the little 
gear cog and you get all that okay all right so oh uh, yeah i just i might as well do that before i go there we go change that to auto that means because breakdance is mostly based off of flex which is why it's so modern and which is why it's so easy to lay things out um if you put in margin auto it stretches the blank space out so things get pushed out and that's what we did here and we're done so we built the header i'll see you in the next video we will build the footer all right take care bye oh wait click click on save i'll stop the recording now so see you in the next video bye